to everyday Linux user. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Ubuntu USB drive. First off, open a Chrome browser or uh, web browser of your choice, and then type Ubuntu download into the search bar. Click on the ubuntu.com download desktop, uh, accept all and visit site, and then you are given two options, you can download 2204 which is the long term support release or you can choose the latest version which is 2210. It's worth pointing out that the 2210 version is only supported until July 2023 so if you plan on using it um, beyond that um, then you'll have to upgrade uh, whereas if you use the 2204 you've got five years and then you won't have to, all you have to do is updates, so you don't have to upgrade um, to get um, security releases. Ubuntu 22.04 has four uh, requires four gigabytes of memory and a dual core processor. For this video, I'm going to be using the 22.10 version of Ubuntu. So the next step is uh, open the browser again, and at this time you're going to search for uh, etcher.io in the address bar. You can leave Ubuntu downloading in the background whilst you're doing this part. Um, uh, when the Etcher website loads, click on the download link, link for your operating system. Uh, this will take a uh, a little while to download depending on how fast your internet connection is. When Etcher and Ubuntu have finished downloading, you're going to want to click on the um, etcher.exe file to start the installer. If you've uh, already closed your browser, you can um, open Windows Explorer and go to your downloads folder and uh, the Etcher installer should be in there. So you can double click it from there if you haven't um, got it available to click from the browser. When the Etcher installer starts, uh, you'll see a license agreement. You need to click I agree and then Etcher will be installed to your operating system. At this point, you need to insert a USB drive. Uh, note that all data on this drive will be deleted. So uh, if there's anything important on there, make sure you copy it off first. An icon for Bellina Etcher should now appear on your desktop. Double click it to open the software. Click on the flash from file button and from your downloads folder, uh, click on the US Ubuntu um, ISO that you downloaded earlier. Then click select target, choose your USB drive, make sure it's the correct one. Click select and then click flash. There are two phases to the installation at this point. The first part flashes the image to the USB drive and then a validation check happens. Uh, this can take a, a little while to perform, so you can go make yourself a drink and come back um, in a short while. At some point, Etcher will complete its process and you'll see the screen that says flash complete. At this point, you can close Etcher and you can reboot your computer. When your computer reboots, you're gonna to need to press the function key that brings up the boot menu. This differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. Common function keys to bring up the boot menu are F7, F9, F12 and escape key. You can either try these out or you can look on Google to find out the relevant function key for your manufacturer. Sometimes it displays it on the screen as you're booting up. When the boot menu appears, select the USB drive that you wrote Ubuntu to. Another menu will appear. The option you want to choose off this menu is try or install Ubuntu. The Ubuntu logo will now appear and it will take some time before it gets to the next stage, which is the screen shown here, which asks you whether you want to try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. If you click try Ubuntu, the Ubuntu desktop will appear and you will be able to do most of the things that you can do with the normal Ubuntu. At some point, you may choose to install Ubuntu and you can click the icon in the bottom right corner that says install Ubuntu. Now you may have noticed in this video that I've interchanged between 2204 and 2210. The installation process and live boot process are exactly the same. A future video will take you through the installation process. 
But for now, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.